Welcome back, YouTubers. Have you ever wondered about your propane tanks? The small ones, I mean, like the benzomatic tanks, when they run out of propane and you have to go and get a new one. And it feels such a shame to throw away perfectly good looking but empty tanks. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a way to refill these. So here are some old tanks that I felt bad about throwing out. They're completely empty. And you can see the weight of the gas that they contain. So it's 400 grams for these blue ones. And for these bigger tanks, it's 450 grams. So that's important when we fill these up because you don't want to overfill these. So these have been cooled down in this freezer for about 15 minutes so that the propane will transfer quickly from the big tank to the smaller tank because it will condense much quicker in these, in these cold tanks compared to that bigger room temperature tank. Now key to doing this whole process is a certain valve that you can buy. This is the valve. And it has, it has the identical connector to the one that goes on top of the benzomatic tanks. So that's what's key. And this end connects to the main cylinder. You want the valve turned off, obviously. So let me show you how to do this. Just connect it in right like that. Make sure it's tight. That's your setup. This is the make of the one I bought. And you can look this one up if you want to get this particular one. And I just bought one valve just to test it to see if it was any good. And uh, so far, we don't know. So let's find out. Now in order to fill, it's not gonna fill like that. If you put this tank like that, it's not gonna fill because the liquid is in the bottom of this tank and there's gas on the top. So it has to be turned onto its side or even turned upside down to do this successfully. So I'm gonna mount this camera in a stand so I'm able to do this. And I'm gonna be weighing the weight of gas using this cheap kitchen scale. Good and tight. Now for the fill. Now I'm gonna pass gas into it by tilting the cylinder slightly. And opening the valve. Okay, you heard the gas going in. So now I'm gonna take this off. and weigh it. Well, I only got five grams of gas there, so that's not enough. Let's see what we got. Definitely more gas in there. So we have 560, so there's still room for more gas. Now we're gonna keep going. Okay, I just repeated the process after cooling the tank some more in the freezer, and now I've got them completely full. They should weigh around 800 grams. So they're actually a little bit, a tiny bit overfilled. So we've got some nice uh, full tanks here. Now for my final tank. That's this tank. So empty it weighs about 500 grams. So you add a 450 to that and you get 950 grams. So the final weight needs to be 950 grams for this to be full. Nice and cold, fresh out of the freezer.
Make sure that joint is tight. Open our cylinder and tilt. Feels heavier, that's for sure. Eight hundred. So we want another hundred and fifty in there, and then we'll be full. So I'm going to do a repeat fill, and I should get it. Ah, pretty good. Nine forty. That's good enough. So that's it. We filled up all our tanks with a simple valve. This one right here. And let me just show you that label again where I got it. Look this up, gas one. Just make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area. Now for a quick test. Awesome. So here's some details of that uh, adapter again. I don't really have shares with this company. I wish I did, but anyway. It's, uh, here's some pictures of the valve too, so you can get a closer look up at it. And it's really very useful and very compact. Thanks for watching, folks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.